Yo, Apex has been one of them things like you always want it to happen, you want it to be the best it could be and then it gets knocked down and then it gets back up and it gets knocked down and it gets back up. And now I think we're at a stage where this is probably better than anybody anticipated. So yeah, this, this is the one. Yes, people, it's myself, Flawless Mr. Take Note. Myself, Big Tox, Tremaine Smith, the cat amongst the pigeons, and this is the pinnacle of UK battle rap. This is Apex. And let them know what the next match up on the card is. The next match on the undercard, we have battle rap legend, royalty, the king of the dot champion. We've got Real Deal versus UK battle rap vet, Jay Short. Premier battle sarcasm, see. Real Deal, Jay Short. Um... Jay Shark, someone that's been around for a while, people know Jay Shark in the UK scene. Um, but since he's applied himself to Premier Battles and been coming over here, he's climbing up the ladder in everyone's estimations, in views, in notoriety, and everything like that. His bars get better, his, his delivery gets better, his brand gets bigger, and Jay Shark's on a tear. Um, it's fucking dope to see. So then, um, on the other hand, you have real deal. Been doing this as long as anybody, more consistent than anybody. Um, nothing can throw this guy off. This guy's a machine for every part of the game: writing, delivery, stage presence, big battles, moments. You can put him up against anybody in the world. Premier Battles, we are at Apex, September 7th in Manchester at the Academy. If you with us, make some fucking noise. Yeah. Oh, Let's go, Enjoy First of all, I want to shout out to Always on Point, nice Red Lion Pit Shot and Ace for Steve for sponsoring nice. Premier Battles through the first season and the second season of making this shit possible. That being said, on the right hand side, representing Pride Battle Club. From Burnley, Manchester shows a look for Jay fucking shit. And on the left hand side, all the way from Pittsburgh, the current King and the Dot champion, an absolute top five battle rapper in this game, one of the most consistent. Manchester shows some fucking love for real deal. It's a three round battle. Real deal decided he wanted to start round one, so it's round one of real deal. Let's go. Yo! I said, don't be disappointed if you didn't pay for his merch. Because I plan on murdering you. So this will not be the last time you get to see his face on a shirt. I said, Briggsy and Shoddy, where you at? Y'all both my guys. But this was 27 hours of travel. You have fucking towed the line. I went from Pittsburgh to Boston to Madrid to Dublin to Manchester. That shit, that shit blows my mind. My flight had so many connections, my plane knows a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> I was happy as fuck for Shoddy when I seen him get signed. He said, we got a scene here. I said, cool, I'm eager to find. Unlike y'all leeches trying to eat off this guy, I said, fly me out. I'm gonna show why I'm a beast in your eyes. Cause I'm in Manchester wigging for my piece of the pie. But now, <laughs> but now I'm getting pissed. Cause all I hear is Yankee that, America. Shut up, you little hipster bitch. I know there's beef between our countries and the real reason is cause Shit, we're pricks. So, <laughs> you might say some America shit that pops off. I can picture it. 
To me, it's black and white. They're gonna gas this red coat and Liam's gonna see a body like Schindler's List. I said, I, defi I, said, I define the slums. Fuck plates, I punch till my knucks ache. The fight for crumbs, not always. Sometimes it's suede shoes, gray goose, Nate Rue. Some nights are fun, pints of rum. Bring the Bacardi in, let's start partying. Nah, fuck that, think Guardians. I'm gonna be directing shit, hire gun. If I see Jay, oh, if, if I see Jay Short this evening, I give Jay Short a beating. Now Jay Short a breathing, <gasps> iron lung. I'm just here to, <laughs> I said I'm here, to, I'm here to play it cool and make an impression. Like my son, but in a blink I can, like my son, but in a blink, I'm Travis Barker behind the drums. This bitch Hillary Clinton gonna try and run. I will beat you the fuck up if we throw hands. Bank on that exchange like we wiring funds. There's two, there's 206 bones in the human body and you don't have a violent one like what? I said, I'll give your wifey a shank. I'll give your wifey a chef tank as a souvenir. She'll leave her number on a napkin just as you appear. Then she'll show up in Pittsburgh. I'm like, what you doing here? Just, just cause I text a hoe hey like the Lumineers. But hey. But for real though, Jay's my homie. Plus we're both team pride, so my thoughts vary. So when it came to his bitch, I was going back and forth with the head like night at the Roxbury. But I decided I'll be a gentleman. I'll compliment you and your missus. Like, y'all look great together and I'm glad that you got married. <laughs> nah, fuck a bridge. Just cause he's my teammate, I'ma bang his wife like John Terry. That's one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Layers two. <laughs> Yo, with a freestyle shit, didn't know I'd kill him. Yo, with a freestyle shit. Hold it down. Yo. Yo, with a freestyle shit, didn't know I'd kill him in verse one. He said he'll fuck my bitch like John Terry. That's because you turn up for the celebration when the work's done. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yo, two days no sleep and he's still dying faded. You wanna talk about Iron Lung? No, I got Iron Mike and you rock and roll. That's Iron Maiden. What else did he say? Fish. Yo, then you keep saying you're gonna go with my missus because she's the nicest. Like, it's not my fault you all turned up in matching tracksuits. You're going for a shit life crisis. <laughs> yo, so Trevor here is hitting a big 4 0. You want some old man levels. Well, it's a Jay Short battle. Show and first things first, fuck off. I've had a bad couple of months, bruv. Trust me, I'm not the one you want to be stood in front of. This is going to be sock and bop and robots. Heads about to roll. It's going to be a jaw dropping punch off. But in all fairness, Trevor is my boy. And a lot of men know this. So I'm going to have to let him down gently. In a hole while the casket closes. Sick. In a hole while the. In a hole where the classic clothes, his signature move, I'll write him off with the same hand I wrote this. It's a galley, the guy appears from a mental, I drove the body just to catch on moments. I looked around and I locked myself away, but I came out of my cave with a word of God like Muhammad wrote this. I'll fuck up his own night. I'll fuck up his own night. You can kind of after party fucking up the wave like the staff of Moses. I came out, I came out of the belly of the beast like attacking Trojan, stacked in horses. With a, I came out of the belly of the beast like attacking Trojan, stacked in horses. I started at the bull like a matted door with both arms as God, but I'm lightning with a hammer, man of four, and I'll give him a, I'll give him a Chelsea smile, bigger than Gia Frank Cazola's with the same blade, I'll stab him. Let's go. Yo, so I'll give him a Chelsea smile, bigger than Gia Frank Cazola's with the same blade, I'll stab his throat with something foul from the mouth like Halitosis, have a go, bitch. Do you really think you were my first choice? <laughs> you were my first choice, aren't you? Everything from his dress sense to his voice corny. Maria, everything I intricate with, I write the shit. So everything I write and deploy gory. That's why I bodies drop as my name's mentioned. I'm Andy in Toy Story. So, yeah. Boy. I like that. Bro, I am so, 
I am so consistent with my style. Every battle is just punch after punch. I just stand here and rap you, scream in a full grown man's face and tell him I'm gonna buy you. 52 cards deck the same and I just snap at your way. Trevor on the other hand, well half the time he's a teacher. He took the battle top a struggling amateur. But the other half, he's dot mob. You best believe he's gonna wave that guy at you. He's, he's gonna have his fifth period detention class and dot mob team up and they're going to batter you. Because, <laughs> Because real deal is a GTA 5 type character. He can only be Trevor for so long before he's forced to change character. Hey. 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 Fucking dark mob. Them rambunctious little bastards. Yeah. Don't get me started. There's friendships like that and then there's friendships like mine and Raptors. We have been in cells for each other. You'd be lucky if you even see them man afters. Because that click reminds me of Joe, Monica, Rachel, Ross, Chandler's. Because it looks good on cameras, but deep down your friends are still actors. So I don't want to hear none of that barking noise, how he sparks the toys, because quick twist of fate on this stage. I'm coming for all these boys. Yeah. Yeah, he might be known for bigger battles, and granted, his name does attract him. He is first to him. Unfortunately, your craft's shaky. It's plain to see you experiencing turbulence. The oxygen mass just dropped in your lap. When it comes to gut and gas, you were the first to him. But every battle of mine is a hunger and a first to him. Because I were different, you could be the worst victim. I hit a nerve, kill him. I hit a nerve, kill him. I was on the world spinning. You can guarantee he's going to be stumbling and worlds missing. Blurred vision. It's pet cemetery, cat. It ain't hard to gauge. I came out of bird, dirt different. <laughs> <laughs> Next Yo. round on Real Deal, let's go. All it down for the battle. Yo. All it down for the battle of Jordan around, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! He said I wasn't his first choice? Fuck this dude. Andy from Toy Story, then how come you don't have a buzz with you? And then he, and then he, and, and then he, and then he talked about my homies. When will the shit just end? Your homie asked my homie to cross swords with him. You're right, we have different friends. Let's go, Dale! <laughs> Who's better? That's rap, rap city. <laughs> Who's better than us? <laughs> I said, I understand shit happens. Battlers put you in a hard spot. So I was considerate. But next time it's racks like Luger, Alice Cooper, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm gonna charge guap. I mean, I want the kind of money that sends me to the car lot. Champagne popping when I bar hop. That budget better be as high as Carrie Fisher when her heart stopped. But th <laughs> this whole thing, speaking of Star Wars, we're going back to your bitch for this one. Speaking of Star Wars, your, your bitch said since you got sober, it's like you don't know fun. But them boys from the States known to party till the popo come. She said, we, we want to come back to your Airbnb. I told Shadi, tell Jay, bro, don't come. Because I'm going to have Adam Driver and you're going to end up solo, son. Oh, yeah. Oh. We all met your bitch. Chilla said, she's bad deal, but she give off that fast feel. Plex and Ward said, she get it, sure, but she's with Jay and I don't, you know that spiel. Red just said, she's a whore. She said, flag, I won't stand for it like when Cap kneeled. She, she said, fuck making a video, let's make bloopers and outtakes. In other words, I want to gag real. I said, Phew. I said, this, the skill set I got, I said, the skill set I got be paying me dividends on paper violating. I should be facing imprisonment. That's how PA roll. Get it, PA rule, that's Pennsylvanian ignorance. I'm nice for no reason, like Canadian citizens, but. I'll be back for you, Blue Moon. I said, but we can switch it up. We can switch it up. Go fist to cuffs, you'll get this bum destroyed. Bring your squad with you. Fuck it, call the click and bring the boys. Form a fellowship. I don't give a shit which click you wanna join. You should take your ax to grind and Cut down your inbred family tree, Gimli, son of Gloin. Oh! <laughs> you probably didn't think I did my research, right? Your mom's your dad, your dad's your mom, you're inbred, you're Burnley scum. Whoa! 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 
We'll compare the Berg scene and Burnley. Here it is at, <laughs> let's compare the Berg scene and Burnley. Here it is at a glance. Michael Keaton, Pittsburgh, Batman in the 80s. Ian McKellen, Burnley, an 80-year-old batty man. I said, <laughs> Fucking no one else from where he's from that's even as famous as Short is. I'd say they should give you the key to your city, but you probably snort it. He came, hey, he came, he came and kicked it with me in Pittsburgh. Ask him. I was there for bro. I couldn't wait to come back out and see you. We got to gigging, and there he was, coked out of his fucking mind. I'm not saying that shit just to embarrass you but you had the biggest pupils I've ever seen, and I teach gym in America. Yeah. 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 Full clip. Full clip, let's get it. Hello, give me a couple seconds. Let me show you how easy it is to beat the dude. Because Americans influence everything we do. I mean, from the music, even the way we're speaking, too. So you, add, you teach bigger pupils. Ironic, because now a pupil's going to kill a teacher, too. Yeah. Less. Oh, 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 That's what I'm talking about. Slow and enjoy it. Get off the table. that. Yo. Hold it down, hold it down. That's a reaction of shit that I freestyle. So what are you gonna do now? You've brought all people famous from Burnley. Well, Matt Miller's from Pittsburgh. Guess what's gonna happen to you now? Yo, so through no through no problem of their own, Premier Battles had to restart the card. But he still managed to get a high king versus a low deal. But I wanted that old school, real versus low deal. Instead, I got a no Edmonds man. Crack his lid open, depending on the offer, his family might get to C deal or no deal. But, but granted, credit where it's due. You are hands down the most consistent battler in this rap shit. Unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah. Now, I'm glad all of you clap bricks, because the next line was, the consistency is only consistent shit when you're consistently average. <laughs> you all set him up for that, don't you? You feel bad, bricks. Uh, when you are consistently average, always online talking about him versus MC, $30 fee on Superfly yeah. Battle League is a bona fide classic. <clears throat> you chat shit. <laughs> from, from that shit to the gang click, you are a Kardashian in this rapping thing. Even a mouth on a bitch is plastic. <laughs> See, if I go off heads, I still off heads. I'll show you how the schooling should look. This is off stead. I made a rep off. I made a rep. I made a rep off colorful language. The temper blue, black out, throw you in the red. I, 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 Klaus and Umbrella Academy. I laid off the drugs. Now everybody I talked to was dead. I turned battle. I turned battles. In, I turned battles into seances, bro. I control what cracking like Davy Jones. If I throw a punch, I'll break a bone. It's a big old fracture. Hairline through his face like Razor Ramon. Woo Yo, from the, from the second I spy the opening, he getting beat till his whole team fleet running. His hands may fly, he's a cricket bat to the little twat. You talking to B unless you try and suck your little piss on this and leave everyone earwig. Try me, cousin. I said, nah, it's spider, beetle flea. I just keep him coming. Earwig, uh, cricket, and you know, you're doing play on a, and, uh, 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 you're doing, uh, you're doing word play on the insects, Jay? Uh, you doing word play on insects, Jay? Buzzing. I said, nah, I just turned over a new leaf and that really got me bugging. The, sec the, sec the second he said something, it got me feeling like 90s trackies. I had a feel, I should press buttons. I've got a mind to interrupt. I've got a mind to interrupt. Headbutt him. I'm uh, into out of nowhere, dead sudden. I'm, I'm brick top with a pig trough. You are a big loss. The second I crept to the cadet, you were dead cousin. I'll take him. Sh I take him out of present company. I take him out of present company. I'm head hunting. I'll split deal in two with one hand. I'm debt cutting. Thank 
you. No. Yo, I've split deal in two with two lines. I'm dead cutting. I don't care if I introduce my brother, mate. If this gets heated, you better look away. If this gets a punch up stage, you'll get punched up on stage. One bang, I break three ribs. You, I break three ribs. I'll fully fuck up the cage. Untuck a blade. He got technical difficulties. We're gonna have to cut to the break, but. Yo, that's Yo, we're gonna have, yo, we're gonna have to cut to the break. Unfortunately, I know this kid has placement. Your mouth off, I'll kick his face in. <laughs> then he'll sit in statement. Then he's at the station, giving statements, written statements with a naming. Because I just turned Trevor Weller into Isaac Newton. Watch his apples drop. Now we discovered the gravity of his situation. <laughs> see, see, my, my, my. See, my caliber as a battler is colostomy slash catheter. I got the shit in the bag and I'm just taking a piss. It's a, it's That's fire. That was very fire. That was very fire. That was fire. Yo, because my caliber as a battler is colostomy slash catheter. I got the shit in the bag and I'm just taking a piss. It's a professional hit. I'll just remember the kid. If I connect with a fish, you can see his knees buckle and his ligaments give. You win or lose, you get X to the end like a text to my bitch. It's the mandala effect. I remember you being better than this. <laughs> Very crazy. You good? Uh, here we go. Today is actually one year since Mac Miller passed. So if y'all cheered for that, you have no hope. Or maybe you just gave the bar a thumbs up because you know he does the most dope. I said, yo. This whole premiere card had shoddy on his grind, getting promotional packages, anyone who would offer up a dime. So when URL battlers pulled out, that was fucked up. But then a thought had come to mind. You've relapsed from sobriety like six times, so really you fucked over more sponsors than all of them combined. Hey. I hated to be the one to have to tell you about hipsters, but newsflash. Y'all are not rebels and nonconformists, you're predictable douchebags. <laughs> Fuck your misfit shirts, your anti-flag tanks, your buttons on your worn out hat that matches. Fuck your unkept hair, your greasy beard, and your rancid jean jacket patches. All that overly passionate shit you say makes Matthew McConaughey sound like Dylan Thomas. <laughs> You hate the government and the establishment. Wow, what a modern day William Wallace. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck your 10 million irrelevant tattoos because you just wanted to. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Hey, awesome, we get it. And when you buy a craft beer, you don't have to tell us all it's alcoholic percentage. <laughs> you. You and grass-cutting fathers are the only people buying up koozies. You have literally managed to take something as beautiful as sobriety and make it douchey. Like, I went to his Instagram. I went to his Instagram. He had a post. I seen it and clicked. He was like, crazy, I'm drinking water, right? No, you need it to live. <laughs> His next post was like, up early at the gym, hashtag sober life. <laughs> with some other douche he got off the sauce with. Wow, a former addict becomes a gym rat. What a Shyamalan twist. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, is, here's my thing though, here's my thing. Is he sober, sober? I know, silly, right? But I'm thinking if he had some crack to fill a pipe with somebody on this bill tonight, he'd wait for us all to look away, and I'm feeling like he'd sample the bass and deny it like vanilla ice. You know, cause theirs goes boom, 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 ba, ba, boom, boom. All right, stop. No hard drugs. <laughs> That's new. That's, That's new. out. I'm out here. No hard drugs, but what about like hard liquor or perhaps even a daiquiri? Something to make you less bland and boring. He hit me back like, nah, you don't know the facts of being an addict, G. I said, hey, Jay, what they say in AA? When he came back, this shit just baffled me. 
He said, apparently I have an addictive personality. I said, wait, you have a personality? <laughs> I said, please don't slander my country because that dissent America shit is corny. Fuck a dog fight, I'm not hyped. This is comparing a Pitt and Yorkie. People in my circle mm -hmm. stack bodies. Derringer, Smiths, and 40s. People in your circle drink black coffee and share their addiction stories. <laughs> this is Jay Carter, he's an addict. Hi, Jay. <laughs> overlooked and underrated in this league, in the scene. Favoritism stopping him from reaching his dreams. What do you know? Another addict who thinks the world owes him something. See what I mean? You can't be trusted because even the chip on your shoulder says 30 days clean and serene. I used to do opiates, be all addicted to coke and shit. Now I'm in the gym every morning wondering if everybody notices. <laughs> Oh, who are these overly tatted up friends with me? Ah, uh, just some friends I got sober with. Why don't you take your straight edge lifestyle and slit your fucking throat with this? Boyfriends, just take no notice. Anyone with your boyfriends, take no notice quick, because we all know I'm gorgeous as shit. I don't have to say it, they notice it. I'm a sexy ass hipster. Even you said you spent time on my Insta. No, I'm not. <laughs> Even you said you spent time on my hipster. I can get my phone out and see how many times you've liked a picture. Yeah. And no, I'm not sober, because mum didn't raise a fucking quitter. Yeah. Yo, yo, and are you saying the people in your circles? What is this gentleman here who can talk about God in any sequence? He'll talk about God and help you to greet him. I've got people like Rapture in my circle who fucking send you to meet him. Yo, 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 yeah, he left because he's busy trying to stack up locals. I thought you were backup dancers. I didn't know they did backup vocals. Yo, so we're, so we're three rounds deep. By now he realized this ain't gonna be a case of puff, puff, pass with Jay. I thought I got full autism for it. Spaz for change, it's the Milgram experiment. You push my buttons, let's see if you've got a handle on pain. It'll lead to a short shank and you're about to go through more shit than Andy Dufresne when he planned his escape. And you're about to go through more shit than Andy Dufresne when he planned his escape. Boy, let's play. The performance is telling him, this is a battle he can never win. I'm about to pop the bubble that his head is in, even water down, I leave earth, catch wind and this fire see is out of his element. Just, just imagine Trevor in. Dot Mob's biannual clubhouse meeting. The only white guy there. He's in the crib all shook. He's on Facebook on his Mac. Did a personality test, trying to work out if he's more crib or blood. <laughs> then he gets a phone call off King of the Dot. It's a title shot, come spit your stuff. Whoop the fuck. That cash for gold chain don't mean shit though, bruv. Apart from it's took you, what, 40 years for you did all good? I'm no Clark with it. Trevor getting killed from the back. Welcome to kiddohood. <laughs> I'm, I'm, about to put, I'm about to put Trevor in a bag. I will fully seal deal. I'm in a cat hole. I don't know if I feel real. You are, you are. Yo, hold it down. Yo, I'm in a cat hole. I don't know if I feel real. You are food on the move. You want to test go and I will meal deal. One bang. Yo, you want to test go and one, I will meal deal. One bang, his jaw off. It lands next to nothing. Now that's a real deal. But on a. 
Bono real, mouth off, you can get banged out of your New Jersey for real. Kosher, you don't want it with JC. I got boys that will bring the steel together for the plate like the meal's over. I've been moving bodies and didn't even know I'm doing it. I'm a sleepwalker. You, you, you Yankees want to take a you Yankees want to take a deposit and chip. That's something we're going to have to speak over. The rock around these ankles, it's sink or swim. Yo, shorty, what do you think they do when they in deep water? I said, nah. I said, nah, New Jersey, far from real kosher. JC, real ass, Tony, we're going to make sure the meal's over. So you Yanks took your deposit and you chipped. That's something we're going to have to speak over. Because when we had rock tired, sink or swim, shorty saw what Tay did when he was in deep water. <laughs> I'm just scheming. You and the king of the Dutch chain, but who believe him? <laughs> I had to watch the battle back. When as soon as a rumor creeped in, because yeah, you beat Jones for the belt, but you UFC'd it, you can you DC'd him. Then you went online and bragged out, you deceived him. But don't worry, chiller, on this day, shorts due to eat him. I came to take out a body experience is like lucid dreaming. Because I, I swapped the cat for a crown, all bridges are getting burnt, it's jab it with numb faces, but in the end it will hurt. You getting tooth out, filled in. So much tell the boy first, a cap, crown, bridge, brace, jab, young face, tooth out, filled in. You ain't getting it, nerd, based on the like mouth you're showing. I'm doing dental work. But, but, yo, but let's just slow it down for a sec and pay my respect. Because honestly, it is humbling, battling a vet. After everything you've been through, I didn't even expect you to be here today. So I'm humbling my debt. But you know what they say? You've got to finish the plate before you pay compliments to the chef. But let's be real, I'm sexist, bro. At the hold it down at the back. You're ruining the battles. But at the back, the talking at the back is ruining it. Yes, people, it's myself, flawless Mr. Take Note. Myself, Big Tox, Tremaine Smith. This is Premier Battles and this is Apex. We're here at Manchester Academy 2 and let them know what the next match up on the card is. Next match up on the card, we've got LS Dean. Way <laughs> to go, yeah? Check it out, I love it. You've done better takes in it, you get me? Like, you have to check That's out. a good point, actually. You have to check, see? That is a good point. Yes, people, it's myself, Flawless Mr. Take Note. Myself, Big Tox, Tremaine Smith. This is Premier Battles, and this is Apex. I thought you were going to say on the next matchup. On the card. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, you. That was his time. Was that not him that just walked up there? No, you get drunk. You get drunk. Yes, people, it's myself, Flawless Mr. Take Note. Myself, Big Tox, Tremaine Smith. This is Premier Battles and this is Apex. Next battle that we got on the card, tell him Is who. the Premier Battles 2018. See, you just cut me off, man. You did. did I you cut me off, man. I apologize. Let me finish my round, My apologies, then. Now you want to do your too long of an intro, you get the beaver. Now it is, isn't it? Therefore, play on that. Yes, people, it's myself, Flawless Mr. Tate. No. Nope. Myself, Big Tox, Tremaine Smith, the cat amongst the pigeons. This is Premier Battles and this is Apex. Next battle on the card, let them know who we got. We have the Academy 2018 champion, LS Dean, taking on a man making his Premier Battles debut, Lazy. Sarcasm City Premier Battles. I thought you were going to jump in there, and it's kind of more to say. That's what it is. That's what it is. Man from comedian, cultural comedian, that was the plan, but it probably into action. He swapped out the wavy guns, not just so much today. He swapped the wavy guns for urban labels. It's obvious it happened because he went from comedy to stabbing. We saw the change in your material, it's clear that he's just following a fashion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's, that's in bad taste, we've seen your back change, and then the bold next get was want to start popping like champagne, but since yeah. New Jersey's twerked it, <laughs> Lazy ass Jack versus LSD. This is sort of like a match day matchup between um, Knights and Shark City. So this was going to go ahead at match day four, which fell through a couple uh, a couple months ago, um, and it was a part of the pre-party press conference that we were going to do for Apex before all the, the shit happened. So first of all, I want to shout both of them for stepping in and doing this on Apex as well. It's a big card. It's a big stage. LSD did the Academy Final 2018 winner, so he's been on big cards, but this is a big stage. Uh, All Star was a good stage, but this is a big, big stage. Um, Lazy Ass Jack's never appeared on Premier Battles before. He's been a part of the Knights team, but we've just not managed to get him an opponent yet. So I'm interested to see what Lazy could do. I don't think he's done any big stages, so this is going to be a test for him. Um, I think this will be a good back and forth. People are writing LSD off online. LS Dean's obviously saying Lazy's got no chance. But I think there's only one way to settle this one. This will be a judge battle. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and Ace for Stia for sponsoring Premier Battles throughout the season and always showing us love. That being said, on the right-hand side, making his debut in Premier Battles, representing Knights Battle Club, Manchester show some love for Lazy! <laughs> and to my left, representing Shark City, the winner of the first ever Academy Tournament from Manchester, Make some noise for LS Dean. This is a three round battle. Lazy decided he wanted to start round number one. So it's round one of Lazy whenever you're ready, bro. Let's go. Yo, can everybody hear me, yeah? yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yo, hold it down. Can you hear? Apparently they can't. You are remarkably bland for somebody named after a psychedelic substance. <laughs> so he's not going to say, shit, I can't predict, that's blatant. After he's done calling me a gangly freak, he'll probably call me a Tory, portray me as mad racist. Evidence it all with the banks, with the cash payments on the bank statements from my dad's wages. Well, cool. Because then I believe this guy will see the irony when I dump his body offshore like a tax haven. If you think... If you think you're winning, it's because you only talk of yourself like Team America's Matt Damon. <laughs> You're just not as incisive, so comparatively, when you're rapping with me, all your angles will seem mad basic. I'll be breaking down this body like Dr. Manhattan as he stands panicked in the lab chamber, or just bring down the bat, then I'm packing LSD in the trunk like fear and loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> Come on, man. See me? I've had swathes of these opponents where I lose interest because I don't think they'll test my writing. But you are the first one to put me in a fully blown existential crisis. <laughs> so let's get the story right, bitch. Time to scrutinize. I called him out, heard the dude reply, was going to write back to that shite track, but then he said he would never do it live. Well, then it hit me. I'm begging a battle of LSD. What am I doing with my life? He's. <laughs> He said it was an insult to his pride. In fact, Dean was up in arms. And yet, here you fucking are. It's a, it's a matter of integrity. It's where I stand apart from, dude. He said he'd never battle me. Well, that shit's hardly true. Who knew all the convincing it would take is just Briggsy asking you? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well. Any opportunity to lick an arse or two on the staff of views, this guy is a peanut. Well, <laughs> this guy is a peon, getting hyper jumping through hoops like he ride on the bebop. So go ahead, underestimate the heights that I be on. If he doesn't see my shine, that's how he will die. I've been learning to shoot snipers with Leon. Yeah, professional. Professional, excellent skill. I could kill him with my left hand. So you won't see this knight take an L. Oh. Professional, excellent skill. I could kill him with my left hand, so you won't see this knight take an L like a chess match. Because he, because uh, uh, if this league stays team-based, well, I'll turn it on and light up the whole table like a desk lamp. He was talking like he could test Jack. He tried giving me the cold shoulder. Then he found out he might get to perform in front of Rock. That's when he got a little bolder. Hold up, no, uh, hold up. Never beef LS Dean online. That shit turns into an Avengers scene. Assemble! 
Online buddies there to defend his rep and legacy. So I decided to find the chink in his chainmail, pressure him defensively. But it was like chainmail. I knew that it would get to him eventually. I guess you. <laughs> I, I guess you need, I guess you need to touch up your writing or this will become an obvious blot on your resume. Sold himself out like Mary Magdalene, honest to God. So should you have spoken honest to, yes, yeah, a Ward gets it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sold himself out like Mary Magdalene, honest to God. So should you have spoken shit on my name? Nah, probably not. This is what happens when you let your echo chamber turn into a commentary box. Yeah. So if you want to know why I called him out, you can go online and read about it. But let's see if this twat still wants to flap his gums once I punch the teeth out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Because the shit that he's spouting, he might as well have tied a noose, hung a rope. We've been waiting for you to say goodbye for so long. If you could, that'd be fucking dope. See, you got a filthy, filthy mouth, and I could wash it out with soap, but I would take a knife, make a slice, cut in slow, right across your gullet if I wanted to hear a bubble in your throat. Ty. Let's go, round one up, team, let's go. Yeah. Talking about me ducking him. I don't understand why mates gas. Bro, have you seen this crowd? I would have taken Yanif if it meant I got a stage pass. <laughs> but it's two losses on the bounce. Mad stress, can't let it phase me. Stock dropped on my account. Damn, guess that I'm getting lazy, but he's so technically great. Man, he's technical on stage. In that case, consider me technically amazed. I'm fucking effortlessly great. Little tutorial here, bro. There's levels to the game. Judge a book by its cover. Your shit looks better on the page. Words are weapons and you better get sentenced to your fate. But they told me, don't talk about gun violence. Fuck that heat out, sun shining. I let the raptors fight for me like Love Island. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Come on. I said I'm back. Abundance of one-liners, dumb fire. Call the whole game off like an umpire. See my girl said, see my girl said, Dean, you face vets. Why are you still rolling with this shit? I said, babe, keep your voice down. Battle rap don't know you exist. But then I, <laughs> but then I notice it fits. Comes close to the six. Too many texts. I start ghosting this bitch. See, if you talk about metal, I'm thinking a broadsword. Armor on him like what lords wore. Well, I'm in a field with a stick like a warlord. Take down your whole network. No need for the talk talk. I'm out here looking for Jack like, oi, where's the orcs cord? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Are the, are, are the URL rappers not here? What the fuck is this? Are you telling me I'm not allowed to talk about guns and shit? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Just do a whole f fucking 2010 round about how I fucked his bitch? Well, I fucking did. <laughs> Bro, I crossed the line so quickly. That's just the running of the race. Made a house feel like home. I was comfy in the place. She told you it meant nothing. Means I'm nutting on her face. Let the, oh. let the hate filter. Oh. Yeah, come on. Let the hate filter. Even your mates filled her. That bitch been put in more positions than James Milner, I'm so... Yeah, come on, boy! There we go! I said, yo! I said, I said I'm so wavy. I don't even move through space right. Already fucked your next girlfriend just to save time at Shark City. And you staring at a great white about to be over everything like a motherfucking hate crime. I ain't a usual guy. Belt his chest in, self-reflection. Make him look inside himself like, who am I? She said he was afraid of commitment, but now bro committed suicide. What? You only here because they couldn't think of any better victims. The knife's already in your stomach. Try your best not to get it twisted. I beg you. I beg you, beg your pardon for I make you beg forgiveness. I've got to kill the whole event now. Make sure I never left a witness. Time. Yo. 
So, there's this thing that you and Jay Short do, and I'm not talking about cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you get a little crowd reaction and start to pogo around the whole stage. It's so... <laughs> it's so lame. Oh, wait. My bad. That is cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> You're so unhealthy looking, your inner spirit considers your body retrograde. More bags under your eyes than your music will ever make. Let's get it straight. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Yo, let's get it straight. Check the sh... Shh, come on, yo, let's get it straight. Check the shit that I have wrote. The ink shows I got this in my pocket. My biro's broke. I listen to your mute. I listen to your music. I don't like those flows. Heard more melody in a dial tone. Couldn't go, couldn't go through with listening to those tunes if I was banging keys like a xylophone. You are fucked now that I'm involved. See, you make screamo emo music. Please, don't take this as a compliment. But every time I listen to it, I accidentally sing along to it. The, uh, right? <laughs> Yo, the problem is, that you are the world's first emo roadman. <laughs> too easy, too easy. Yo, <laughs> the problem is, you are the world's first emo roadman. Dude, that, <laughs> dude, that shit is funny. How does that even work? Like, motherfucker, give me all my money? Uh, <laughs> Right, fuck it. He's been flagging in the ring like a matador. No brain, no spine. Still, he thinks that he's a man of war. Fight against the current. Going back to where the salmon's born. Triathlon. Gonna get on your bike because it's gonna get deep as soon as your time in the street has ran its course. I mean, you just. <laughs> See, you just follow the trends as far as I can report. So, sir, there is no debating. You have the floor. Because really. Because really, you. Really, you, a shooter? Please, that's not the guy that appears in your music, G. You must be pretty fucking desperate when you take a generic style and make it your USP. Guess he struggled to fit in like a USB. You test me? Yo. Yo. Yo, you test me? Not when he went to Roadman from Comedian, a cultural chameleon. That was the plan, and he put it promptly into action. He swapped up the wavy garms. Oh, not so much today. But he, sw <laughs> <laughs> he swapped the wavy garms for urban labels. It's obvious it happened as he went from comedy to stabbing. We saw the change in your material. It's clear that he's just following the fashion. Uh, Yo, but that's, but that's in bad taste. We've seen your rap change, and there's a bottleneck to get through if you want to start popping like champagne. But since New Jersey twerp here started doing his best, you are... <laughs> Yo, but since New Jersey twerp here started doing his best URL impression, prancing around the damn stage, talking about how he let the gas spray. He thinks that he's been on a rampage, but the facts plain, you would get walked all over if you were living in a gangway. But... But apparently this depressive emo is going to stab Jake. <laughs> Shit, I guess it could be true. But if you had a knife in your hands, the only person in any danger would be you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so monologue about your murder sprees. I can see what you're trying to do, but every time that you do, it becomes clear. The only thing you're going to kill is the vibe in the room. No style you choose. <laughs> There's a vibe in the room, no style you choose can take you from no name to legend. He's so lame dependent on that whole grey collective, because when he gets the clash, he's vexed and mad. Penning tracks, depressed and sad, like that's in no way pretentious. He just pick up the pad, sensitivity increasing like pro gamer settings. I mean... <laughs> like pro gamer settings. He wants to be on URL so bad. The heat. <laughs> he wants to be on URL so bad 
that he tried to manage transatlantic reach by switching up his accent. Please, I guarantee they see you as a parody because that attempt at international relations wasn't handled diplomatically. There is a massive gap between there is a massive gap between what you promise and achieve, a staggering disparity, quite frankly, it's embarrassing since, see, I represent no one but myself, and that's exactly what you're lacking in. Since this man smashed the academy, he's fucking turned into a PB puppet. God damn it, I can't stand for it. He only get a clash in if all the staff are backing it. But right now, I imagine that they're panicking because all the matches that they hand to him have smacked this twat and battered him because the fact is this, you're getting opportunities off the back of a manufactured narrative where the reward was different proportionate to the opponents that they matched him with. So Yo. Because the fact... Yo. But right now, right now, I would imagine that they're panicking because all the matches that they had to him have smacked this twat and battered him because the fact is this, you're getting opportunities off the back of a manufactured narrative where the reward was disproportionate to the opponents that they matched him with because the fans and shit been gassing him. And now I think Nathaniel is too big for the itty bitty boots that he's having to sprint a marathon in. <laughs> I said fabricated angles. That's the reason your stomach get cut. I do not do cocaine. I'm just ugly as fuck. <laughs> yeah. And I am an emo road man. You best get some help. I know my blade's sharp. I'm fucking test it myself. What? What? I said, you need to step your physio up. I'm backballing, no Juve fan, but the gang touring. He thought all the gun bars were smack talking till he got smacked talking. They say, Oi! they say ignorance is bliss. And why that's always been a mystery. There's Dom Doms in the shotgun. He about to fight inner peace. Blow his head to smithereens. One shot, rinse him clean. Feeling like some Listerine. I make some money, then you die. This a bit of sweet symphony. He's jotting on, I know, man. He's jotting all my bars down, trying to find the hidden themes. There's no fucking similes. I will kill you literally. <laughs> this is not a metaphor. You're a piece of shit to me. <laughs> oh, but he's posh. And that makes him so great. <laughs> OK. I smash your face to pieces like a mosaic. He said, Dean, you got cocaine? I charged him 120 for half a gram, then told him I had no change. Type of guy. <laughs> Type of guy to wash a zanny down with rosé. Bottle to his face. Come on. Type of guy to wash a zanny down with rosé. Bottle to his face, nice visions looking opaque. I'm a barrel full of laughs till the action starts to rotate. You in the field with a hammer nash, just a game of croquet. I'm straight to the point. We don't have a while. A glass to his mug, I'm trying to crack a smile. I said, I was in the tea house. He said, I said, glass to his mug. I'm trying to crack a smile. I said I was in the tea house. He said, oh, did the decamomile? <laughs> you... <laughs> you... I said you blatantly soft. I swear your cadence seems off. Is it Lazy Ass Jack or fucking Jacob Reese smog Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a madness. You know how well I would dress if I was that rich? Holidays, laying with a bad bitch. Fucking on a friend's five a day, just my average, I'd stay swinging. But he spent his winnings on a master's, like, Mummy, can I borrow some money for some ratchet? If you throw in another 20, Pedro said he'd do my ad libs. <laughs> <laughs> See, it ain't a problem that you're posh, cunt. It's a problem, you're a posh cunt. You posh cunt. <laughs> I swear, imagine lazy at a party. Normal banter agenda. Posh cunts talking about their gap years and splendor. His mate starts bragging about his travels in Kenya and then Lazy's like, well, one time I got to stand near to censor. <laughs> you fucking pampered kid. Proper soft, big foot. I'll have his vision blur. I'm a monster. Watch, grab a glass and muzzle top with a Molotov. Jack Banford main stage just to top it off. You take, yeah. woo. 
You take that privilege on your shoulder and try to use it as a bargain chip. Hope you get promoted still, regardless of the bars you spit. I went from Academy 2, Academy 2. You never worked as hard as this. For me, this shit's a passion, bro. For you, it's just a party trick. Time. Oh, Yo. Since you got your ass whipped by Matter and Briggsy, you are not in demand. But before the battles, he was talking like he'd locked in the win as soon as he'd locked in his bars. So when they beat you in first gear, that was an obvious par. I guess the road got bumpy because you were blind to what was crossing your path. <laughs> but now he gets a push because he has a bond with the staff. I guess it's easier to change yourself than improve yourself and honestly graft. So you gave them what they wanted, but what you became is not what you are. The staff peddling a product they shaped like a pottery class. It's a oh, obvious... Hey, yo. Go! Yeah, like a pottery class. It's an obvious farce. He went like four battles without one defeat in a tryout competition, which I didn't enter because beating shit down the leg of bottom tier battlers doesn't sound like fun to me. But he, but he said I wouldn't have looked out a place in it. Like you could have fucked with me, but you're right. I wouldn't have looked out a place. Not if I was, uh, oh, I don't know, another battler with about three years experience there to keep me company. <laughs> mm. But you needed the academy. That's because you were a slow starter. No one knows your name. Oh, nah, nah, take his head off. Cold lager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Yo, but you needed the academy. That's because you were a slow starter. No one knows your name. Oh, oh nah, nah, take his head off. Cold lager. Soon as the contract was signed, he had to raise his average. I'm Coach Carter. Let's go, partner. Yo. Yo. Let's go, partner. The academy is the only reason you get to battle anyone that... Yo. The... Yo, the academy is the only reason you get to battle anyone that anyone has heard of. But tryouts to title contenders is clearly an absurd jump. Point it out, he gets worked up. But I think you need a reality check, because the reality checks are the only reason they turn up. Uh, nobody cares when you rap about how you burst slugs. We've seen the image that Dean was switching, but in terms of quality, can't perceive a difference. So he was gunning for the vets, like they were easy pickings. They kept on giving this emo the slip, like all of his repeat prescriptions. He thought that he could, you know, like all of his repeat prescriptions. He thought he could take the OGs for victims. I know, because he was talking lots. Matter and Briggsy, they gave you two shots. Now you're staring down this barrel because you never saw them off. The staff. The Yo, with the force of bombs. Yo, the star filled your head with dreams about how you were going to blow up with the force of bombs. They led you down the garden path. Now, your garden path that you should never have been walking on. You are a one-hit wonder. When I pick that as a subject to talk upon, I'm not trying to be obnoxious. It's the sign of protest, no less, designing it to shock you. He got gassed up off of the riot and the squabble. Now, he's trying not to wobble like he's cycling on the cobbles, stirring up a storm in a teacup, over catching lightning in a bottle. Yo. <laughs> We had to put it on tonight to prompt it, but finally, we stand in here clashing just for me to tell you I had your bitch in my bed, switching positions like a pragmatist's habits. Wait, wait, that's a dis <laughs> Wait, wait, that's, wait, wait, that's a distraction. Quick, get back to the tactics. Don't want to end up like you, switching topics every two seconds. This man has to practice, because I... Yo, switching topics every two seconds. This man has to practice, because I see the cracks in your writing, like Anglo-Saxon manuscript fragments. Man, you script fragments. There's something coherent when he's working on lines, coasting in the slow lane, make him swerve to the right. No, I'll make him pay any verse that he writes, like a celebrity in a restaurant when he turns up to the fight. No reservations, he'll get served on the night. <laughs> Yo. Yo, oh, just to be accepted, you had to change your style blatant, but it's plain, you sound basic, so your claims are outrageous. That's why he resorts to building castles in the sky, because he never put in the groundwork to lay the foundation. So go ahead, scream about your imaginary success, and hope it's true. Crazy how you had to start making a scene just to get this one to notice you. Tired. <laughs> Roll three on LSD, let's go, hold it down. I said it's third round. 
Know your role. I'm grabbing partner. do si do rope a dope, leave him comatose. The, I said, rope a dope, leave him comatose. The lights are on, but no one's home. How shock say it? Let it bang on a white boy head like Post Malone? Fuck that, little peep. Just two bars and make him overdose. This your, this your premier battle debut. Here. This ain't a message that you, here. This ain't a message that you can bar. You gotta thank me for the card like a letter to your grandma, but fuck the punches. I said fuck the punches. Let's just talk some hard facts. I picked this round up later, just put it on my bar tab. I get that you call lazy. It makes sense because you can't rap. But what on fucking earth is an arse jack? <laughs> Bro, when I rap, when I rap, I gotta pause for applause. When you rap, we have to pause for a pause. <laughs> you fucking, you fucking specky geek, looking like Kenny Beats when he was 17. If I'm LSD, if I'm LSD, then he's mescaline. Ground down, he's nothing next to Dean. Allow your fucking memory. I put Jack inside the box like the clown they fucking sent for me. But they said it's this or no international. And that's the only reason I'm stood on stage. You ain't achieved a fraction of what I've done to date. Respect is earned and I feel underpaid. Should have run away, never touched the plate. You ever get those hunger pains because you can't stomach lanes? Feel the pressure in the air, you start to crack like how thunder's made that. Same pressure got you twisted, now it's like a hurricane. I am fucking great. I, I said the crowd can sleep, but this a bad dream. Tall task, altitude sickness, he's mad peak. I said, I said the crowd can sleep, but this a bad dream. Tall task, altitude sickness, he's mad peak. This battle been booked for the third time. First rhyme I wrote for him, last week. Yeah, I'm a Lancashire boy. I'm a Lancashire boy, so I came from Accrington with a Stanley. Wait. Wait, wait. I came from Accrington with a Stanley. Wait, replay that damn scheme. This your end game. Get clapped for your last scene. I'm back, B. Oh, I swear, so don't ever waste my time trying to pretend he extra distinguished. Watch the levels within his whole set get extinguished and all-star coming up. I know Chilla mentioned me. Well, who's next on the hit list? Start expressing your wishes. Employee of the month, I'm the best in the business. Time. Yo, mate, some noise for that battle. Yeah, hey, what are we talking? Besides New York, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, bro, I'm gonna lose. Bro, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, the thing is, like, I'm not gonna push back. You can't do it, you know what I'm saying? This is work, I know what it is. When are we on? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Get, get get wait, wait. wait. Oh, what, Dwight, you're filming him. You big cat. Be a bad. How has he been here long? Has he been here long? Long. <laughs> Bobby Rex versus Yunnan. Everyone's excited to see Yunnan back. Everyone knows how it was left last time. Um, awkward, but. This is battle work. This is, as you know, would say, this is battle work, bitch. And um, yeah, man, you come to this stage, you come to win or lose, and all that shit that goes on in the past is just the past. That being said, he is without doubt Hall of Fame, UK battle work, one of the one of the best to ever do it. And I'll argue till I'm blue in the face with anybody. Known for aggression and multi-syllabics and trying to control the circle or the stage so is Bobby Rex but Bobby Rex is quite imposing and big it kind of eliminates certain people's styles Yunnan isn't easily bullied he's been in there with bullies he's been in there and had the pressure put on him this means both of these elements are kind of done we've seen Yunnan be punked don't matter no more we've seen that happen you know what I mean we know Bobby ain't. We know Bobby can win battles without punking people. So this just falls down to who's the better rapper, and they've both been talking shit online, and I fucking love it.
Let me have a fucking look at myself before I fucking go and force myself right. upon his fucking little tiny fucking soul. Cause I am Bobby fucking Rex in real fucking life, let me tell you. Unanimous is a created fucking character and I am going to fucking annihilate your fucking <laughs> 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 Toss was flipped. You now one decided. Bobby Rex is starting round number one. Bobby Rex, it's on you, bro. Let's go. Skate packs. You now apex. Let's go. Welcome to Skatepex, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Big Bobby Mother Fucking Rex. Did you hear that, Yunnan? I guess it's a fact then, yeah? You can not copy respect! <laughs> I'm the daddy now. Unanimous, save UK battle rap, that'll happen how? Aren't you one of the constant jump shit as it drowned? Where the fuck have you been? I've travelled round, I didn't see you nowhere. Some said you wasn't going to show up, but... BOY! If you haven't bow! <laughs> I am joking, of course. <laughs> I never came to bow, I came to conquer. And little man, your ilk was not built to withstand the war that I will wage upon you. You see this little poker face you're pulling? It really ain't a strong one. Don't be stood there feeling all safe and confident because this is only words. Because this is only words until you say the wrong ones. <laughs> Next time, put your fucking thumbs up. Don't dare do that to me. <laughs> See, there's no amount of metaphors or clever bars that would rebuttal if I punched you in real life. You try and stab me with a lyrical pyramid, you idiot. I might just stab you with a real knife. Like, how does that feel? Ooh, real nice. Yeah, that's a real stab wound. And that's a real slice. Don't be writing checks your ass can't cash because it could cost you a very real price. So now you've got two choices, yeah? Say some shit that you can't backtrack from. I'll take some free advice. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the fact that nobody has smashed your face into obliteration so far is just dumb luck. And one day that's gonna run out. Somebody's gonna corner you. Boom, bow. You should have listened when we was warning you. And you wouldn't have ended up on the floor. Knock the fuck out. Be smart. Just accept that you're a soft cunt. I promise you are not tough just because you went and trained MMA for one month. <laughs> I'll fight any man in the cage. I will fight you right now! Right here! That's it, you nan. Keep the eye contact. <laughs> Good lad, that's it. Fight fear. <laughs> Good lad, you're doing really well. <laughs> You're doing really well, and I know it seems like I'm dead mad at you right now, but take no notice of that, bro. I'm actually here to help. I'm just giving you some fucking energy to feed off. Yes? Giving you a classic battle for your big return, but bro, it's not Premier that needs you. This is energy you sort of give to her, you pathetic little creature. They don't know how much I'm feeling. You are not here to save battle rap. You are not here by fate. You are here because I am a nice guy, Unanimous, and I was willing to let you share my plate. Now say thank you, Bobby. Give me some fucking gratitude. 
for giving you this chance, you knobhead. Goat shit. Sorry for touching you too much, bro. <laughs> Yo, first round of you, then, let's go. I feel like I've lost some out of There's reasons why the scene's dying. Your sight's the progressive cancer. When it comes to being the best, you think you're Manchester's answer. Look, we're both aggressive rappers, but I set a better standard. When I snap, your neck gets snapped. They'll find what remains of Rex next to Raptor. <laughs> now look. It's now, be real with me, Bobby. What the fuck do I gain from this? You post so much self-obsessed shit on Facebook that it makes me sick. You got all these little kids wanting to be you. I'll have all the clones that surround you dressed in black suits and ties like you Agent Smith. Cause, cause I don't know you, cause I don't know you pussy. I seen this cat twice like a Matrix glitch. Now, uh, what? What? Now we can go bar for bar on some gracious shit. Or we can get into some hatefulness and I'll start dumping information clips about times where we've spoken about your broken down relationships. And remember, Bobby, I know all about the racist shit. So think before you act, Bobby, I'ma let you take that in. I'd rather talk about how I'm a lyricist and all you ever got's filler. I used to be a shark. You would leave looking like a megalodon bit you. Look, look, I'm a different kind of beast. You can't pretend I'm not bigger. What the fuck is a Rex when you put it next to Godzilla? Yeah! 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 Cause I'm back! I'm back, motherfucker! It's been a while since I talked to Briggs. It's no secret me and Shotty had crossed wires before this shit. I can't change what's happened. Just remember, when it came time to support, I did. Me swapping jersey is a sign of good sportsmanship. But... But I'm still insulted. They gave me Bobby Rex. The fuck makes you think I couldn't walk with him? This guy's never fought a king. You must be half cut like the lines that he's snorting. This guy likes getting wired, right? I said, you must be half cut like the lines that he's snorting. This guy likes getting wired, right? Well, I'll wire his jaw for him. Look, look, I was thinking about, I was thinking about. There's a fucking line! I was thinking about wetting you up when I wrote this. I don't give a shit if this bitch thinks he's shower. I turn this to a psycho flick. Yeah, you ain't got to ask if my mind's cold. I'm trying to pick axe apart with what I sculpt did. You use, you use the same tactic in every battle. That's what I've noticed. Perfection takes time, Bobby. That's why you write so quick. Yeah. Every battle you do, every fucking battle, it's like, yeah, we get it. You know how to swing your fist, you're tough. So why is it then that when the vids go up, not one of them contains a single punch? And you wind up, and you wind up losing to people like Mackenzie or that idiot Scoop. And don't think that for a second that this dickhead thinks he's too cool to do what real lyricists do. It's just he's not a particularly articulate dude, so that one-dimensional violent shit, that's what he's limited to. Yeah. And look, I don't give a fuck if you've been to Canada, stupid. I, I don't give a fuck if you've been to Canada, stupid. I stamp on you more than that passport that you brag about using. Because, yeah, you've been to Canada. Your name ain't popping in the Canadian scene, no. I'm calculated like a sniper in this bag or a lion with the hands. That means if the dog don't get him, then I'm straight going beast mode. Soon organic and then we're gonna realize. Soon organic and then we're gonna realize he's one dimensional and it's all just the same shit he wrote and his aggression is just a crutch that struggles to hold up the weight of his ego. Yeah! Yeah! 
His aggression is just a crutch. This struggle. His aggression is just a crutch. This struggles to hold up the weight of his ego. You bully people with that cheap flow. Being angry, that's your cheat code. I cock back, reload. I'm on your front doorstep. Bang, shot him through the people. <laughs> Bro, bro, it takes me time to craft these bars because I'm an artist. I'm militant, Bob. I ain't with the army, but I'm armored. You're going to show my name respect when I use a bayonet to carve it in your carcass. I'm the big dog in this trench. Why are you barking like a sergeant, pussy? Let's go. <laughs> As surprising as it might be, it's no secret. Unanimous has actually dated chicks. <laughs> yeah, and for those of you that follow him on social media, you probably know about this one specific relationship. <laughs> you remember the girl, right? The one that he never fucking shut up about? Every post that he was putting out was about how much he fucking loved her pub? Cunt probably still loves her now. But let me tell you a little story about the first time he ever took her out. It was one punch. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> probably still loves her now, but the first time he ever took her out, it was one punch. Boom. Pub lunch. <laughs> and it's other night, right? After this, after this, yeah, get it out, you shit man. Suck me dick, get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out, you dickhead. <laughs> now, after this one night, after this event that we all went to, Unanimous' ex girlfriend spent the night with somebody she apparently wasn't meant to. <laughs> Now, I did promise him and her I wouldn't bring this up, and that's mainly because I respect her. And I'm a man of my word. I just brought it up so I could tell you lot that do speak about her online in the ways that you do. Your mothers ought to have fucking taught you better. Yeah. <laughs> Stop screwing you for your fucking slagging birds off online. That's a little man trait. Real shit. Real shit. Shout out your ex missus. That girl was a G. As for you, Nan. Not so much. <laughs> and it really does hurt me to see, because, bro, you're a legend. And I know you wasn't there right at the beginning at the birth of the scene, but you did get involved a short while later when it was first on its feet and was one of the people that helped to get it moving forward, putting in the work that was needed, burst on the scene, some fat little ugly nerd in his teens spitting these really aggressive verses about murdering people via dragon fire or some sort of fucking surgery procedure. <laughs> and for some reason, it actually worked for the geezer. <laughs> Now, back then, I was watching this from home, spitting verses to beats, but I wasn't the person you see stood in front of you today, supremely confident with every word that he speaks, leaving every single girl that he meets feeling supremely fucking beautiful, because I fucking said you are, bitch. Let's go, You know what I'm saying? I know it. <laughs> but, but back then, it wasn't like that. I was nervous and sheepish. I'd barely speak a word in, in front of people, especially fucking birds. <laughs> Jesus. But then one day that all changed because I went on the internet and from the village came Tommy Villis. <laughs> Proper British. <laughs> Spit, spitting all these dodgy lyrics about monsters, wizards, Egyptian gods and spirits. Sagged himself up to battle all the bigger lads by shadow boxing mirrors. <laughs> None of the odds in his favour when he still manages to cement his name as one of the illest to ever battle out of the UK. But I figured out what his trick is. It's not what you say, it's how fucking aggressively you say it! And I am way better than that at you. See, I am an angry man in real life and you fake aggression and attitude. I have been known to have a mighty fucking temper since the days when I was back at school. You might tell Shuffle T that you'd batter him. You can't tell that to me, but I can tell you that I would batter you. Well, that's all you ever do is tell us that. <laughs> Well, that's all you ever do is tell us that you'll start knocking off our heads, bro. <laughs> it's because I fucking will. And that's the bottom line. Because Bobby fucking Rex 
said so. What? It's not what I thought it was going to be, this battle, but I fucking still have it. <laughs> now, look, look, look. He talked about me I'll on the internet, right? Let's talk about him on the internet. <laughs> Casual, lad. <laughs> not even written So, yet. listen, yeah? yeah. Whilst us battle nerds... Look, look. Hold it down, man. Hold it down. Whilst us battle nerds are all at home, sharpening our metaphors, Bobby's writing love songs on the internet. Yes, I dedicated am. to bitches he's never met before. She's got Kelly Crouch. I think bro, she's fucking bro, fit. Bro, bro, I'm, I'm rapping now. Shut I think up. She's fit. I love them. I don't love her. You're a fucking I'm creep. Look, Sorry. you're a fucking creep. I bet when you're all lonely, feeling cuddly, you sign into your Facebook real slow and poke her all seductively. <laughs> <laughs> And if they don't message him back, he sends them letters. I understand that you like her, but how you got a sentimental connection if you've never met her? My advice is meet her, then address her. Because right now, the only thing you have in common is a net connection. <laughs> but bro, bro, you don't bang women. Yes, I I've seen your last missus. All over the you fuck fat bitches. <laughs> yes, <I've> <laughs> and when you're not working on the weekend, you grab your rod, jump in your truck, and go catfishing. Look, 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 I wasn't going to put this angle in, but fuck it, I'll light his head up like an angler fish, because Bobby thinks he's perfect for women. Always banging on about the birds that he's hitting. But any real bad bitch would make you splurge just to hit it. Mm. Shit, guess the only time you get to see twerks when you're tipping. Because, bro, you look like the type of guy that women get raped by. You're in pride, but you should be in Shark City. Because you've got a face like a great white. <laughs> Most guys' idea of a romantic evening is date night. Bobby's idea of a romantic evening? FaceTime. <laughs> You'd be on your face... <laughs> You'd be on your Facebook live, faking like you all elated when really you hate life, yeah? Bob must be having a great time, sniffing all that flake with his mate right till his brain's fried, getting half naked, having play fights, sat in a sweaty flat where they exchange lines. You can try what you did against Tox and I'll fuck both of you up at the same time. Your front. Your front two teeth look like yours and Raptor's tombstones at your gravesite. You told me over the phone you think I've taken this shit to great heights. You've been to Canada how many times and your career still didn't take flight? Look, look. I'm storing body parts with no formaldehyde. I'm a natural at this. You're a lab design. You told me word for word. Battle-wise, I gave you that spark back and brought you back to life. So, Bobby, if you're a monster, I'm Dr. Frankenstein. And since, and since I'm the one who gave you back your life, I'm the one who's gonna send you back to die. Now, public service announcement. Public service announcement. Bobby just dropped the tape. And I've gotta be honest, mate, it's not on my playlist. It was just him rhyming over old Dr. Dre shit. See, that's your problem, Bob, you're basic. You're not creative. You got some cadence, but that's what blinds him to the second rate bullshit that you got away with. If you take away Bobby's aggression, Bob don't say shit. Bobby knows he ain't competition. Let's not overcomplicate it. He knows there's no substance in what he's saying. That's why he's overcompensating. Just scroll back a few weeks. Check Bobby's status. He heard the battle with me got announced. Bob was praying, hoping that if he posted it on his Facebook that God would save him. Well, how about you meet God face to face for that conversation? You don't, you don't ever punch, Bobby. You better... You better punch with me or I'm a box you're facing. The shots he taken leave Bobby laying in a box discombobulated. He, he knows he won't beat me. This hat, just his arrogance flaring. Really? When he heard I wanted to battle, it scared him. Because I've got classics under my belt. He's a crackhead and you cannot compare him. So why don't you crawl back under whatever fucking rock it is you and Raptor have been sharing? Time, let's go, let's go. 2-0! 2-0! Final round of Bobby Rex, let's go! 2-0! Oh. <laughs> you might just agree that it's 2-0, oh. I guess it's 2-0, oh. I guess you really like him. He said go back under the rock. You are on the rock that I provided, you fucking idiot. For a fact, 
Welcome back to fucking battle. Listen, yeah? Trying to chat a girl up online? That shit's crazy. Spoke to her today. And I had the time of my life. Patrick Swayze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, unanimous! You're an idiot. Stop talking while I'm doing my shit, dickhead. Unanimous! You're an idiot. You know that, right? Fucking cold at white. <laughs> you are your own worst enemy and you have been your whole damn life. You are a young, talented man that's still in his 20s. Why do I feel like I'm stood in front of some old, fat wife? <laughs> Thomas! <laughs> that was the bar there. Thomas! <laughs> you don't have fights. I've met you several times outside of battle rap. You are a bloke that's nice. Remember the first time that I ever met you in Liverpool? It was jokes that night. Honestly, he is a proper safe guy. There was no bad vibes. We went to a show at the... Face me while I fucking <laughs> two old down. He's been reckons. <laughs> you fucking stop talking to them while I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, me and him, we went to a show at the Echo Arena and then stayed over at O'Shea's house. We had a cypher in the kitchen. Unanimous was pretty sick. I nearly burned the whole place down. <laughs> but that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is Unanimous has to change faces whenever he has to change crowds. You see this man that stood on stage? He ain't the man you'll see later when all the spotlights have fade out. See all of this aggressive shit? It gets toned way down. He might give it the big I am inside the building, but outside he will say nout. Not a fucking dicky bird. And it was at this precise moment in the third that I got tired of writing for Unanimous, so listen twerk. <laughs> can count yourself extremely fucking lucky today that you never backed out. Because I had some boys inside your city that was going to try and find the guy that says he's strapped in and they was going to pull some straps out. Bap, 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 bow, back down. I am a man that's on the edge in real life right now, Unanimous, and you have done great to make it to the last round. Please, please don't make... Have a fight about it, I'll take it outside because we have worked hard to be here. What the yo, fuck? Yo, yo. Listen, twerk! You are extremely lucky today that you never backed out because I had some boys waiting inside your city that was going to try and find the guy that says he's strapped in and they was going to pull some straps out. Back, 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 bow, back down. I am a man that's on the edge in real life right now, unanimous. Please don't make me snap now. Straighten your fucking face. It is really beginning to piss me off. I do, I do not just rap loud. I will literally take your face and I will rip it off. And I don't think anybody here in that crowd is going to try and save you. They will sit and watch because everybody hates you. And because you're such a fucking moppet in real life, they are not afraid to. They are sleeping on me, but you will hear every fucking word when you wake up tomorrow. They are not... They are not a f Stop fucking disrespecting me while I rap. Because I'm going BOOM! Oh, Whoa. sorry, bro. Oh, chill, bro. Sorry, all what? Stop fucking talking while I fucking rap. Yo, relax. Bro. All what? One line. Listen, yeah. You're vlogger. I'm professional. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at I am professional. I'm not actually here to threaten your safety. If anything, I don't give a fuck about this battle. I'm here today to collect some debts with you lot. Yeah, I came to get the respect that you keep forgetting to pay me. They say give credit where credit is due. And today I fucking want mine. How dare you lot say that I ain't top tier. Just one time, admit it. I am number one in this fucking country. And I have been for a long time. Yeah, so fucking what sometimes I turned up and I've not tried. Why the fuck would I when I see all the shit that you lot talk about me when you're online? Get up here and say it to my face, one of you is now. What more do you expect from me? I am one guy. 
one fucking guy. And do you know what the maddest thing about that is? Is every single fucking time I have forgiven them. So yeah, welcome back. Nice to fucking see you chipping in again. Fuck off. See, Bobby gets all aggressive. He ain't fucking about. But see, when he tapped my jaw then, that was his hardest punch of the round. <laughs> When you all think of a Rex display, you probably think of Manchester great, a heavyweight, bunch of slick raps and how he spits that in that aggressive way. But fuck all that for this. I'm thinking an actual Rex display. He'll need a team of specialists to make sure his bones are connected straight. And he's got a wire running through him to hold his spine and his neck in place. You might think you're fucking big and bad, but on the inside, you are a self-obsessed, insecure, little man. I'm a, I'm a grilling bad. I've got a blade tucked for him. I will shave chunks off him like a shish kebab. Yo, yo, I will shave chunks off him like a shish kebab. Yo, Raptor, I'll put a blade to your mate's throat, trying to scapegoat to a sacrificial lamb. Cause I'm at his neck. Going on like a man possessed, looking up to the sky, praying that I'm blessed. Lord, forgive me, I think there's a demon in me. They put a scapegoat in front of Baphomet. You do it all for the forums and the fucking rap nerds filming vlogs on your phone. I had this shit locked for a minute like I forgot my password. Look, you know what rhymes with Robert Ashworth? You never got to class twerk. with Robert Ashworth, you never got to class twerk. And let's be honest fam, that would have been a body bag. He'd have give Bobby that work. I know they settled that matter civilly, but they should have got them backs first. Cause they gave that joker a pile of money. That was a lot of cash burn. Now instead it's me lighting up little Robert Ashworth and they don't need to pay me a fee. I'll cremate him for free. That's all Robert Ashworth. Look. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Hold up, hold up. We get it. You versus Twerk? That would have been a movie, fam. Because Twerk would have left his pussy covered in blood like a scene out of Super Bad. Let it sink in. Let it sink in. Like a scene out of Super Bad. You was devastated when you found out. Like, who's going to stand in front of me? Dance around and make all of them gun sounds now. Bow, bow. Bow, bow! I guess I'ma have to honor you since twerk had to bow out. Wow. Cause he canceled. How'd you feel it stranded in a moment? He canceled. How'd you feel it stranded in a moment? Madness, it didn't happen. You're lost in the battle, still unanimously voted. Kick the door like fuck it, I'm strapped in if you don't have any opponent. I'll put I'll put you on life support, then I'll applaud it. Bro, I'll clap you in a coma. Cause these type of blows, they change your features. You think I got trained by Pi made to beat him? I know I killed Raptor, but an eye for an eye won't make it even. He walked in eyeballing me and left looking like Dale Cregan. Time, let's go. Manchester, make some fucking noise. Let's go. Make some fucking noise. I think you finish it's it. Calm, it. You finish it. Normally that's me in it. He does that. So it's good to see you fall off from time to time. Go on. Go on, family. Premier Battle, Sarcasm City, myself, Big Tox. Myself, Flawless, Mr. Tate. No. And this is the pinnacle of UK battle rap. This is Apex. We are on, stood on the stage right now. Manchester Academy, the next battle of the day is the main event and it's for the title match. The title belt. Telling the participants. It is O'Shea versus Mal. Winner takes all, they will be crowned the inaugural king of this UK battle rap shit. Let's see who takes it. Who wants it more? Sarcasm C, Premier Battles. O'Shea versus Matt, UK title match. This is a battle I'm looking forward to. I think this is perfect for a card like Apex. 
O'Shea coming back to Premier Battles. He's had two great battles already. Uh, he had a battle of the night with Raptor at match day one in the first season. And a great back and forth with Cole J, which I think again was battle of the night. Um, O'Shea, is, O'Shea is a UK legend. He is probably the most solidified UK battle rapper of all time. Um, he pretty much structured the UK battle rap to be what UK battle rap is. Uh, utmost respect for O'Shea. He's one of my favourite battlers to watch live. You know what you're going to get every single time of him. Matter is on a seven battle unbeaten streak at the minute. He's brushed aside pretty much everybody we've gave him. I think his only loss on Premier Battles was against Seoul, which was an absolute classic battle. Um, besides that, he's pretty much knocked everyone out of the park from LS Dean to Hulk to Old English. He's battled everyone and pretty much comfortably won them all. Um, a lot of people are already assuming O'Shea has took the title, which isn't the case. People always seem to write Matter off when he when he matched up with anybody, and he always seems to win. Um, this is Mandrill versus Mandrill, UK title match. It's going to be amazing to announce the Premier Battles UK champion. I'm excited for this one. I think everyone else should be. Two big legends, consistent legends. People that have put the scene on the back many times and carried it over the line. Now they go one on one in a match that we've always wanted to see. Two of the funniest guys I know, two of the funniest MCs I've ever seen on the stage. The way that's going to look against each other is insane. Super dry, super way. I uh, can't think of a better battle to, to put in that spot. Uh, I don't care who wins at all. O'Shea's a goat. Matter's a fucking legend too. Um, I just think that's going to be so entertaining. And it's bringing an element that we don't have in a lot of the matchups for the rest of the card. Uh, that classic, you know, just UK tomfoolery that we all love. Can't wait to see that. Um, it depends on how he comes back, obviously, because he's been out of it for a while. But I just think Matter. You know, he's been on a tear this year, but how much gas has he got left in the tank? Um, is, is he going to approach this differently? Because some of the battles this year he's coasted through. So, and, and I think arrested O'Shea in this kind of atmosphere, like a friendly, very pro-British atmosphere because of the fuckeries. Like, this is just going to, this is just O'Shea comfortable at home. Like, O'Shea's going to be so different. Like, I, I really don't see, I, 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 there's two outcomes to this battle is O'Shea wins or O'Shea loses. Matter doesn't win. You know what I mean? Like this is O'Shea's battle to lose. Let's go. Go on, go on. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Keep your shirt on. Like, <laughs> wait, wait. Is that an NWO T-shirt, bro? That is tragic. Makes you look like the fattest bastards. It's nearly as bad as them Team USA matching jackets, <laughs> bro. Do you even have a shirt? I swear, three thirds of your wardrobe is battle merch. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> Fucking what? Hey, all you do is jokes. Fuck jokes. I hate jokes. I wish I could eradicate jokes. Nah, but seriously, I rate jokes. <laughs> but, but I thought it was all bars round here. And jokes are shit and corny. This title match 
kind of tells a different story. But I've seen them URL guys bottled it hard. You know what that means, innit? Top of the card. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Title match. Oh, Shay. They said I'd have to catch me to hell because I'm battling a goat like drag me to hell. They said. They said to stand a chance I'd have to switch up the program and really try, but oh damn, that kind of goes against my whole brand. Well, fuck it. Listen up, you silly cunt. I won this season for Mandrill single handedly. You didn't lift a foot or pitch him once. You're the type to go to work, then sit on your ass soon as the shift's begun. And only stand up when all the heavy lifting's done. You John, you John Terry getting kitted up just to lift the cup. You know what I mean? Well, I was out here flattening motherfuckers like a steamroller. You was at home making barely coherent excuses to pee soldier. <laughs> well, now I got a free oh yeah, wood by D bow yeah. The, the league owner's got me punching up my teammate like Lee Bowyer. I'm, I brought everything for this. I'm doing scheming and all. Fuck it. I'll do a scheme for the team you support. See, my McManaman man will sort him a rush. He has it proper large. Big line, make his legs wobble hard like Grobelars. He likes his lines like a Gerard free kick. Put some zing in it. Wait, you do support Liverpool, right? Ooh. Everton. Same thing, innit? <laughs> <laughs> You're still a dodgy scouser copping powder like Robbie Fowler. Ooh. Type of guy to try rob a bouncer. I'll put a, <laughs> I'll put a lid on that. I'll ask a grouch you what? You don't get the discount? You lost the voucher, I'll bop around you. Dodge your swing, then ding ding, you with a rocky counter. Your mother's got a soggy growler. <laughs> you can't let horny dogs around her. Wait, wait, wait. All right, all right, all right. All right, that's enough. I refuse to stoop to mediocrity because his wits aren't matching up. All right, fine. The Cavern Club was named after your Nana's cunt. You happy? <laughs> Against Raptor, you said, it's O'Shea, Peace, Soldier, Matter and Shocks, and all us lot got the massivest cocks. And that, my friend, is the end of the battle. You lost. <laughs> I have never laughed at one O'Shea joke ever. Swear down, that's legit. Any video evidence proving otherwise has been tampered with. <laughs> Cause come on, I would hardly laugh at your cheap party gags about farts and gas. I'm far too smart for that. But I will admit, I did like that bit where you said your ma's a slag. See, <laughs> see, we both crack jokes, but only one of us is a fucking clown. This is Stuart Lee versus Roy Chubby Brown. Yo, yo, it's fucking matter. It's fucking matter! Sick fucking battle rapper! Mate! Sick fucking battle rapper! Mate, how do you do it? The Scouse accent is loud and intrusive. Sounds like a hoover su sucking up countless abuses. Every sentence out your mouth sounds like it's drowning in mucus. Every, every word out your mouth needs goggles and armbands. How, how many times have you unintentionally gobbed on a barman? You shouldn't have been allowed in the league. Mandrel Mob was proudly from Leeds, so we let a fucking scouse in the team. <laughs> Remember when he was like, fuck money, fuck money, yeah? I dare you to say it now for me, G. Fuck you. Oh, well, there is somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go on, go on. Say it convincingly again. Say it again. All right, I dare you to say fuck money and punch Briggsy in the face. <laughs> Pussy time. <laughs> Round one and O'Shea, let's go! Hold it down, Manchester. Mm. Listen! Yes! Yeah. Listen! 
three months ago when this card got confirmed, I thought Tay Rock isn't going to show up. And to be fair to me, I was right. Jennifer Lopez 2000, because did he fuck? Listen, <laughs> listen, now we may both, listen, me and Matter, we may both be Mandrel Mob, but listen, we may both be Mandrel Mob, but it's clear we can all see, compared to me, we can agree that Matter is a fucking melt. And I'm not here for Matter or Mandrel Mob, fuck them. I'm here for one reason only, that fucking belt. But PB, you want to put heavy me? Go fuck yourself. Shotty wanted to take shots at Tay Rock because he's too scared to stand here his fucking self. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, so, 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 listen. He's got a point. Listen up, you mank motherfuckers. <laughs> listen. Yeah. Do I? Listen. You stinking man, motherfuckers! Listen, do you wanna know why I'm such a major attraction? I chat shit about shotty Manny and Manny and still get a fucking crazy reaction. Listen, I am the best rapper that has ever existed. Rich, rich white kid at Christmas, incredibly gifted. Number one in... Num Rich white kid at Christmas, incredibly gifted. Number one employee, best in the business. One day I was baking bread and I invented the biscuit. See, yeah. Listen, I am an amazing mathematician. Listen, I'm like Mabel, a man on a mission. All facts, no fables, I have an addiction. I'm addicted to cooking fucking crack in the kitchen. See, you remember me? Remember me, the gang bangerangatang? Yeah. Food for thought, you'll get this hook that's bangerang. Yeah. See, I can't help being a gang banger, man. I'm from Liverpool, I have a condition. You got a problem with that shit? Demand a petition. I'll be in the trap house handling business, selling crack out the back strap to the flaps of a pigeon. Yeah. Listen, matter, matter, and his nan are bitches. Listen. Yeah. Type of man and grand, I run right fucking through. And it's not the fact that you look like an owl, it's the fact that owls look like fucking you. Yeah. Listen. Matter. Matter. Look at him. Look at him. He looks more like an owl than a fucking owl. Your battles are like watching Fellaini challenge in the box. Foul. Listen. This man's pussy pairing and seeping through, get man another towel. Owls see you and say, look, another owl. See, I've just said owl, fowl, them two types of bears. I'm a genius. You are born in a zoo. The other day you posted a pic of your chick on Twitter and she looks more fucking boring than you. Listen, you have be born in the room with all the bullshit that comes out this bell and mouth. These leads, man, are so far behind the time. Two days ago, you tweeted Wenger out. Listen, I'm the Bret Hart of this shit. I execute and deliver in excellence. Listen, I've sold so many drugs in this bitch, the police assume I'm a million Mexicans. Listen, <laughs> listen, I send, I send subliminal references filled with criminal messages, and I got, <laughs> I got, a, I got possessed by the devil willingly just so I could finger the exorcist. <laughs> listen, but, but listen, we're all boys. Let's be straight. I'll class this lad as a mate, but I'll be honest, if we both fall asleep at a party and you're asleep before me, I'll pull my dick out and I will shag your face. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're around to a man, let's go. Manchester, make some fucking noise, let's go. Didn't work, that last one, lad. Fucking hell. Hold it down, hold it down. He's talking, he's talking about falling asleep at parties. Well, I'm a bar into death. You fell asleep in a hotel and Peace Soldier left a chocolate bar on your head. <laughs> right. Yeah. I've seen Big reaction. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, now, I've seen a lot of beautiful things in my life. I've braved the elements, swam with dolphins, grazed with elephants, seen the northern lights and works of art with grace and elegance. But none of them compare to the understated beauty of O'Shea on ketamine. It truly is a sight to behold. Picture this, a couple lines up his nose, three hours later you find him alone, lying in the road, frightened and cold, in the grimiest clothes, swiping the wrong side of his phone, trying to find his way home. He's fucking... <laughs> 
Yeah. It's fucking peak for you. I'm going to tell you some old Shea getting smashed stories this round, and they're completely true. But first, a little legal disclaimer that I need to do. Anyone with a weak stomach, leave the room. <laughs> right. Our first story set in Nottingham. Oh, Shay's getting steamed, oh, no. knocking drinks over, making a scene. We get kicked out of the venue, had to take to the streets. Oh, Shay goes missing for fucking ages, it seems. We all think he's got lost or detained by police. He turns up at 4 a.m. with a glazed look and brown stains on his jeans. Hey. I mean, why, people? Yeah. White people. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you, New Age fans. Do you really want a UK champ with poop stained pants? <laughs> Listen, I, I'm jealous of your popularity. Thank you. I'm enough, of a I'm enough of a man to admit it. But I'm still glad I never got that paralytic where my pants had some shit in. Look, for our next story, we was, it, we was stuck out in Dublin at some little function. As usual, O'Shea's fucked and struggling to function. Tries chatting up a girl in front of her husband like, You're fucking beautiful, you love. You're lovely and stunning. <laughs> Bro, they're both pissing themselves laughing at this hopeless fool. He leans casually on a sign to show he's cool and goes straight through the fucker like only fools. <laughs> Pie all over him. Eyes not focusing. I was like, holy shit. In a social situation, this is highly inappropriate. I can't wait till we battle because I'm defo exposing this. <laughs> Our last story is set in London. Another battle event. Chance for Osh to make himself look like a wanker again. <laughs> he gets so fucked he forgets who his battle's against and spits bars meant for someone else, not actually them. Now that, now that may seem funny to you. Smashed it. <laughs> now that may seem funny to you, because it is. And O'Shea never lost. But those three stories show that O'Shea's forever lost a desperate, degenerate, pathetic slob. And even though only one of those stories was true, the fact you believed them all says a lot. <laughs> Now, now, right before this battle, I was thinking Sly and Stofi. Tried spiking Osh with a line of coke that was actually a line of Kenny. Half an hour later, he was fine, walking nice and steady. Bear in mind, this is the same cat that ruined my mate Irish Eddie, and he's been sectioned twice already. <laughs> you probably take a bunch of tranquilizer darts to your back and thighs and arms, and you'd be right as rain after a massive line of Charles. <laughs> There could be no drug that he won't touch when he's dry sniffing bumpers of Dorito dust. Look. Look. When he's dry sniffing bumpers of Dorito dust, he thinks he is the league. Man, go back to your drunken coma. You're only like the league because smack blocks your progression and rock fucked you over. Look. Hey. Listen. But it's not just drugs that got him bugging. There's someone else that's got that pudgy finger on the button. And I know this is something of a hot discussion, but your girlfriend, Flossie, is not a woman. She's an eight stone ball of pure rage out to bottle something. <laughs> when you go out, she always whispers to you, here, here, later, you've got it coming. <laughs> when you stole her off innuendo, he was proper buzzing. <laughs> And you always get cussed for that. I'm like, stop the judging. You ended his nightmare and took it as your own. You've got some courage. Now, now I remember we was in Leeds. I can't think of the place, but we was all drinking, getting tipsy and blazed. Suddenly, I see a blonde blur whiz into frame. And out of nowhere, Flossie chucks a whole drink in your face. And you just, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you just stood there, dripping away. Stone Cold Steve a statue. What gets your shirt wetter? when she's chucking drinks on you or screaming at you. <laughs> he doesn't even keep booze in the house. It isn't worth it. 
End of the night, he pulls his bucket out and just rings his shirt in. Time. <laughs> Time, second round of O'Shea, let's go. Listen. Listen, O'Shea, flow and roar. You know the score. Lads, make a bit of a noise if you prefer flossies over yours. Yeah. yeah. Listen, you need to shut your fucking mouth. Next time you're gonna learn about Flossie, do a little few rounds right, and then cut it out, knobhead. Listen, we may both be Mandrel Mob, but it's obvious that we ain't Pally. She's a f Shut up! See, it's obvious that we ain't Pally. She's a four-eyed tour guide. I'm a scally with a bally. Chemical Ali on Everton Valley. The Muhammad Ali of this shit. Ali Boom Bay. I roll with Black Panther motherfuckers. E Bombay! <laughs> E Bombay! E Bombay! E Bombay! See, look at this motherfucker, what is he going to say? Looking like a mixture of Egon and Ray from Ghostbusters, I go suckers, I'm Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Ghostbusters, I go suckers, I'm Patrick Swayze, this cunt. This guy here, the mortal technique dance with the devil, I went crazy for a month. Lad, you know that type of cunt. Come up to you at a pack party, earphones out, like you like rap. Have you heard this song? Of course I have your mung! Listen, don't get it wrong, I'll shank a boy because I'm a motherfucking beast like Hank McCoy. I'll buy a bed a happy meal just to smash the toy. She crying tears, I'm crying tears, a fucking massive joy. Oh, cheesy, believe me, I'm crazy as fuck. My bar's out of this world like an alien foot. Listen, uh, off this planet, off this planet, I planned it. God damn it, I'm cool. Got your beard so wet, it's like she sat in a pool. I mean, you know, I'll be honest. My bars are never hit and miss, but I'm still a motherfucking kingpin like Wilson Frisk. See, I'm a misogynistic... Uh, I'm a misogynistic feminist, an optimistic pe pessimist, a street-thugging, tree-hugging, peace-loving terrorist. I'm whatever I want to be, whenever I want to be, and I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Yeah, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want... Shut your mouth! No bed! You fucking. Yeah, good go. <laughs> uh, I ain't making this. Fight around the mat, let's go. Alright, alright. Shit, shit! Yo! Now! Fuck knows why, but I guess it's mum joke time. Your mum's whole approach to interior design is shit. Her living room looks tacky as fuck. When you was a kid, she gave out hand jobs at the back of the bus and didn't wash her hands before packing your lunch. No. Ma oh. Making sandwiches one-handed while scratching a muff. She, she always smoked soap bar and dead weed. That's why there was potholes in all your Everton, Everton, Everton bed sheets. Now, now, I'm not saying she was a negative influence, but she did have a wide array of gentlemen visitors and, and he just stood there staring at them, munching a gobstopper. That's why she nicknamed you Lil Cock Blocker. <laughs> wait, wait, this ain't really my market. I'm not hitting the right targets. Mum jokes are supposed to be whimsical and light-hearted. Your mum is a caring, considerate fat bitch. <laughs> See how they balanced each other out? Yeah. I fucking smashed it. Look, <laughs> wait, I didn't even think. All this mum joke shit is a piece of piss. Can't believe I wasted all this time fronting like a genius, making incisive, thought-provoking observations like I read and shit, when I could have just said your mum's a fat, greasy bitch. Easy win. <laughs> but wait, that's enough again. Time to switch it up and change and pick another lane. Um, your mum shits with the door open. <laughs> On public trains. <laughs> nah, I'ma switch the topic and keep it strictly honest. A night out with O'Shea is the sickest option. It's pretty popping. Mostly because he makes me feel better about my <coughs> drinking problem. Look, Stephen O'Shea, your teeth's your whole face. <laughs> jaw, wide, jaw wide enough to eat the whole cake. Look. Bite of a tiger shark, jaw hypercharged and going places like a rising star. Looking like a bulldog munching on a lion bar. Look, I know you've been down from the days of spitting it dark. 
when you battle all day in the sun and then kip in the park, but that was a long time ago. Nowadays, you're visibly harmed with invisible scars. You put a brave face on, but we know it's a mirage. I'm just trying to enlighten you while kicking your ass, because I'm so gangster, I took a shit on the guy that took a shit on a shark. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, the fact that we're in Manchester, it's poetic justice that tomorrow is Bear's gonna greet me with what's the story, morning glory. Listen, and matter, I know you support Labour, but it doesn't matter if you support Labour, you look like a Tory. <laughs> Literally, like, your swag is wow. fucked up. It's like a 44 car pile of three way smash. You look like Jacob Rees Smog if he shopped the TK Maxx. <laughs> Lad, and you have the fucking cheek to tell us you're in a group called the Defenders of Style. Lad, you spike your ear with camouflage and pretend like you're Dial from Street Fighter. I'm a Street Fighter. You can't fuck with O'Shea. Expensive heat writer, top of the tree sniper. Look, it's O'Shea. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. I'll have this man shit in his pants like he drank 56 cans of cheap cider. Peace soldier told me your mum's pussy sting of fish. That's why I became a deep sea diver. <laughs> no, man. Listen, everything about Mark Salisbury is incredibly boring. Every third word out of his mouth is Jeremy Corbyn. Listen, <laughs> he's like, fight for your rights. It's terribly important. But until you put your glasses on, you walk around like this every morning. <laughs> Lad, fuck you and fuck your bars. Without those glasses and your contact glass lenses, your life is bumper cars. Listen, you be bumping into everything, from the chair to the door. You be standing in the doorway like, where is the door? <laughs> My lad. We're telling you straight, like, there is the door, you're like, I don't believe it. There is the door, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Listen, you're fucking with O'Shea, Liverpool's number one Gary Shotter. It's ironic that when you lose your glasses, you run into more fucking walls than Harry Potter. Listen, <laughs> listen, O'Shea comes through and I smack you, white guys, black you. <laughs> listen, good MCs, whack you. Lad, you're cornier than the Americans' tracksuits. <laughs> Only did it, Only did it. Nah, don't count, don't count. <laughs> listen. I fucked up here, but I like this guy. <laughs> Time's here for... <laughs> oh. Manchester, make some noise! Oh, bad again, huh? Yo, let's go, man! Fuck. fuck you, say it! Premier Battles, we are at Apex in the Manchester Academy. We've just witnessed the UK title match, sponsored by Always On Point. If you with us, make some fucking noise. Let's go. <laughs> That being said, we've just witnessed an absolute classic battle between two UK veterans. Both of these guys have consistently shown up for the last few years and held the UK scene on their shoulders. Both of these are worthy of this belt as well. That being said, we took it to three judges. The decision came back 2-1. And the winner is... And the new champion of Premier Battles makes some noise for Max and let's go! Yo, Premier Battles Apex, September 7th. First of all, I want to say thank you for buying the pay-per-view. 
Thank you for buying tickets, for buying merch, supporting what we're trying to do. We understand the difficulties with this event and we wasn't able to provide the event we promised in January. Make no mistake about it, though, we are working to put together one of the biggest cards in UK Battle Rap, if today wasn't already one of them. Um, Premier Battles isn't going anywhere. There was a time when we thought this might be over, but because of you people buying the pay-per-views, buying the tickets, supporting the whole movement, not just Premier Battles, but Apex, this is all for you, like... This event, we can't thank you enough. I want to say shout outs to Always On Point, our sponsors for coming on board. And just believing in what we were trying to do. We lost a couple of sponsors because of the way the event turned out. But that, it is what it is. It's business at the end of the day. Um, huge shouts to Always On Point. They literally did everything we asked them to. Make sure you go and check them in the social links as well. They make some sick music. They will have performed today, so we'll try and put the performance in the pay-per-view or on the video on demand service. But make sure you are tweeting. Hashtag PB Apex. Shouts to all the Premier Battle staff that are involved in the event. Shouts to Sarcasm City for the coverage. Shouts to everyone from Don Pappy to um, ba uh, Battle Rap is Life to Battle Rap Resumes. Just all the podcasts, all the podcasts. Shouts to all of you for covering the event. Shouts to everyone in the States from Champion to everyone else that have been covering what we do. It's massively appreciated. Um, like I say, we had a lot of knockbacks with this event. But we finally got there in the end, didn't we? Hopefully you've enjoyed Apex. And we'll see you at the All-Star Game in December. Make sure you subscribe. PremierBattles.club for the network. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube at YouTube.com forward slash PremierBattles. Follow the socials. We're not going nowhere. Shotty Horror will be back in Battle Rap this December. Announcements coming soon. We are working on it with his management and his label and things like that. But the second we get any sort of information, you'll get that first as well. Shouts to everyone that's watched in. This has been Premier Battles Apex.